Good afternoon, friends. This is a video about ozone autohemotherapy, which is a very useful procedure in many orthopedic conditions because ozone is one of the strongest antioxidants and is useful in a wide variety of conditions. This particular patient has a stiff elbow, bilateral knee replaced, one hip replaced, polyarticular rheumatoid arthritis. And here we are going to inject ozone and cocktail into her right elbow and give her a session of major autohemotherapy. Now the elbow is injected posteriorly for elbow arthrodiastasis with a cocktail and ozone. We are taking 10 milligram of Depomodorol, 2 ml of 2% xylocaine, 4 ml of water, 30 micrograms of clonidine, and we are taking 10 milligrams or 10 cc of 70 microgram per liter of ozone gas. The ozone is kept separately as it is heavier than air with a bent needle, it won't escape. We go intraarticular and give the intraarticular injection. And subsequently, with the same needle, we are giving the ozone injection. We can see the pushback of the needle as the gas goes in. And once the gas goes in fully, it will distract the joint. And the same can be used. And the same will be helpful for the patient to increase her movements. I am not doing any forcible manipulations. Next step is autohemotherapy. You need special autohemotherapy bottles, which are presently imported from Germany. They have three dots. One dot for injecting 2 ml of heparin. The bigger dot for drawing blood. And the smaller dot with a plus for injecting ozone. We use Dr. Prasham Shah's formula, which is 50 ml of venous blood mixed with 50 ml of 70 microgram percent of ozone. A size 18 when flown is inserted. Even while insertion, I told the nurse that this was not correctly inserted and it may get blocked at a later stage. Nevertheless, we decided to use it for extraction of the blood. Subsequently, the ventron got blocked and we had to change it, which you will see in this procedure. Now this special blood set without rubber, which comes with this system is injected into the vacutainer bottle and the blood automatically draws into the bottle. There is a mark at 50 cc which is stopped. We are using an IAOS ozone machine at one sixth of a liter oxygen which will provide a 70 microgram concentration of ozone. 50 ml of ozone is diffused to through 50 ml of blood to ozonize the blood. Now this is injected through the plus mark. Dr. Prasham normally bends the needle to inject the ozone. I have done it straight even while the blood is passing so that ozone mixes with blood and it forms a cherry red solution. There it goes and in a second the ozone gets into the blood and you can see how the blood has become cherry red and bubbly. As I had used only 45 ml previously, I am using 5 ml extra. Just for the video you can see how the ozone immediately goes in the blood. And now the same ozone is ozonized blood 
after little mixing is retransfused into the patient's body carrying all the oxidants into her body in this case her initial venflon was blocked and uh, we had to change the venflon to the other side which delayed the procedure by a few moments but eventually once the new venflon was found we were able to ensure that the blood went comfortably rapidly and at the end of the procedure the patient was feeling energized energized do i could not clearly make out whether it was a placebo effect or the effect of the ozonized or the hemotherapy once this transfusion procedure was over which took us about 17 minutes we examined her elbow which just had a rock of movements you can see the ozone bubbles and the cherry red blood which is being transfused at 40 drops per minute and here we can see that the patient has just started getting a rock of movements she called me in the evening and told me that her elbow movements had improved considerably and she was very very happy with this procedure if you want to know more about mhc please message me in whatsapp on the above number and i take this opportunity to thank dr prasham shah to teach us all about auto hemotherapy which is a process useful in a wide variety of conditions and which transfuses patient's own ozonized blood and is applicable and useful in a wide variety of conditions thank you